been nigh about 20 years since them cool young fool done broke magic and the world ain't been right since Monster effrayant from them other worlds running round terrorize and down in the bayou in that there gris gris water there's some kind of evil c'est un sort de démon magnifique so beware my friends Go carefully. Attention, mes amis. Allez-y, pro démon. Else that murky water gonna lead you to the grave. So come with us as we go on another fool's quest. Oh, the trouble. All right. So last time, you guys had just finished off the the. the the Inquisition squad from the School of Conjuration. Oh yeah, um, the other other bar fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was the bar fight, and then you went and raided their little yep. little yep. HQ yep. there. Um, yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute since we played. Uh, the the boss of the local underworld had asked you guys to help out and then you guys went in and did it (laughs) (laughs) without him and his thugs and yeah sort of made a deal with him about keeping in touch and you know warlock stuff Ren and that's about where we left off cool yep I think you guys were heading back to your warehouse that you rented from yeah we were moving all of our shit out of it right or moving the shit to the warehouse yeah yeah moving the shit out of the house so we could turn it back over to the swag and then mm-hmm. set yeah. up a, a little more permanent shop there in the warehouse mm-hmm. yeah the elmer's glue starting company mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> so bayou bill's still in crossing with the crew that he brought the barge with cool um he turn to the right page in my notebook shows up at the warehouse about the same time you guys are it looks like he was looking for you and he approaches and says oh boy why you boys don't been busy the last couple of days huh oh yeah man Duh. yeah real busy Turn that barge crew back into people from them rocks they was oh yeah how's that guy's arm oh them fingers probably grow back <laughs> Has anybody missed the axe? <laughs> no one said nothing about no axe. Good. Fighter keepers. Well, I, I seen you had that one when you came to town. You know what I mean? Wink. And then he, <laughs> he winks. No, he didn't. He totally got it off the barge. I say he winks at you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, he winked. He has spoken. <laughs> well, now, I been this whole... Oh, wrap it up here and cross in two. We gonna go on back a runoff tomorrow, boy. Sweet. We'd love to have y'all along again if you want to well, you know, head that way with us. I don't know if we're going to be heading back that way right away, but uh, if, if we do, I will definitely look everybody up, especially Miss Hattie. She's a, she's a peach. <laughs> Miss Hattie, she, oh, I miss her gumble. Oh, man. I don't know where I'm stopping as soon as I get in town. Been gone nigh on two weeks now. Hey, I got some uh, some jars of some stuff. You want to try and sell it there for me? Some stuff, you say? Yeah, it's, uh, it's glue. Glue? Oh, it's some pretty yeah. cool stuff, bro. Use it to, like, close envelopes and wounds. And wounds and envelopes. That sounds like some some real useful stuff. I'll tell you what, how much you want for a job, man? I'll sell it for you. Uh, three gold. Three gold. Man, better be some real good glue, but I'll see what I can do. It's Elmer's glue. Of course it's good glue. Yeah. It's even branded it. <laughs> I'm, scri- I'm scribbling my face on the jars as I hand them to it, just writing <laughs> Elmer's glue underneath. Just kind of like a grease pencil. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it to you in a stick for a copper. <laughs> just press to digitate the logo on it. <laughs> he said, well, I'll try to sell them three gold a piece, and I'll get you the profits when you come back around town, or I come up this way. Every once in a while. That a deal? That sounds reasonable to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I want to say thanks again. You boys don't help out our town quite a bit before you even came here. And 
Boy, I don't know what we'd have done without y'all and that barge going missing. Oh, dude, you're making me blush. <laughs> well, bro, you gotta take care. Safe journeys. Uh, I need to go down to the s- store and uh, see the fine ladies down there. I got a few things I uh, uh, put an order in. At the stepsisters? Yep. And Bill makes his goodbyes or whatever and heads on back towards uh, wherever he's heading. The, the, the merchant place trading company. Um, so you head over to the stepsisters yeah. soaps and sundries. Yeah. Yeah, it's smelly blocks away. They're oh, clearly yeah. Yeah. brewing something. Can't miss up. it. Um Yeah, you get there, you push the door open, it's a little jingle bell. And all, the, all the racks are order order organized by what? By color? Color. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> color coded. It's like a paint store. I keep playing with the bell until she comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Nanny Rose comes out almost immediately the the, the third time you you dingle the bell. So, oh, it's you boys again. Now I'm so happy to see you. How can I help you today? Hey, uh, last time I was through here, I asked about some beeswax. Um, do you, did you recall that? I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was did. looking for some uh, some some uh, beeswax wax. Oh, yeah. For the yeah. surfboard? For the surfboard. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, back home we used to call it sex wax, but <laughs> it just kind of sounds weird when you're talking to an old lady. No, pro- no, no offense, sir. <laughs> she said, "Oh yes, the wax. I think it's right over. Mm, Probably what a pale yellow bee." <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. Looks over. around and she eventually finds a jar of wax and she says, "Hands it to you. Here you are, dear. Is there anything else I can help you with?" Uh, you got any nice, uh, like, like uh, really soft rags? Oh, of course. Of cool, course. cool. Yeah. They're good it, for polishing. <laughs> she goes back and she comes back out with a, like a bunch of rabbit pelts and something like these. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck it. Use the, use the suede side. It'll probably work yeah. better. Mm-hmm. You got to rough it up first. <laughs> you can get fur all over your board and waxed into it otherwise. Um, I'll have a hairy surfboard. Yeah, so she... You know, rings you up and whatever. It's only a couple of silver for sweet that stuff. It's pretty inexpensive. I appreciate it. <laughs> you girls are golden. <laughs> <laughs> I just completely drew a blank on what the Golden Girls theme song is. Hold, hold on. <laughs> is it? Is it? It's not. Thank you for being a friend. Yeah, thank it you is. For being yeah, it is. Yep, that's is it? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, or it is exactly that. <laughs> for some reason, Jesse watches. I, girls every night. For some reason, when I said that in my head, I was like, "That's the cheer." That's not the Cheers theme song. That's where everybody I was, like, knows your name. Yeah, that's last night because I was thinking about playing, and I was like, "Oh, they're gonna go." I, I should make a thank you for being a friend joke, and, and I just lost just it. Just slipped her. <laughs> slipped her mind. I just remembered that I was like, "Oh, I thought of a joke, but no, it's gone." You know what? Missed. You don't get to be the DM anymore. Yeah, you failed fair. us. I, swear. <laughs> I missed the joke. I, I, yeah. This is the last night. I don't night. deserve it. <laughs> yep. I don't deserve it anymore. Deserve I'll, hand it over anymore. The, I'll hand over the reins after this session. <laughs> that was so dramatic. <laughs> Thank you. Fired. I beg your pardon? Fired. But I... Fired! That's right. I'll put it in post. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um... It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. So yeah, that is that the the conclusion of your business with the steps. Yeah, I, I'm good for that point. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is uh, probably find me a woodworker. A woodworker. Yep. Yep. You know, works with wood. <laughs> so at this point, it's getting pretty late in the day, nigh on evening. Um, probably a little late to be finding a woodworker today. But That's fair. Be something you can do in the morning. Fair. I'm thinking another bar fight. <laughs> Heading back over to the three-legged snake. Three-legged snake, let's do this. <laughs> Drinks are on me, bros. <laughs> well, I, I have, have the best fear. idea. 
taking I'm taking a brush and some of my glue and I'm just gonna try and brush people's feet while they're drinking. <laughs> glue all the drinks down. Let's glue a gold coin to the floor. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. <laughs> do that so many uses at <laughs> the movie theater. <laughs> Reminds me of Empire Records. Yeah, I think that's where I got it. I don't have to explain my art to you, Warren. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I think that's where I learned it from. That's great. Anyway, um, Three-Legged Snake. It is jovial. It is much less subdued than it was last time you showed up. There is, once again, some rowdy, rowdy music playing. This time it's banjos and tambourines. Oh, hell yeah. I'm digging it and I'm buying, you know, typical so. Bard stuff. I'm buying for the evening. My oh. treat. For just for your companions? For here. the groups, and I'll buy a couple rounds for everybody in the bar. A couple rounds for the bar. Yeah. It. Uh, you see a couple of the people you guys beat up last time, but buying a couple of rounds, there's definitely no hurt. Yeah, that's old school, man. <laughs> yeah. Whoop the shit out of each other, go buy, go back inside and buy each other a beer. Yeah, there are no hard feelings, and uh, it's jovial as i said but much less rowdy than it was the first time everyone seems to be in a much better mood and um as you guys are there hanging out and having your drinks and just a general good time you see a couple of little tussles break out but nothing more than pushy shovey stuff you know and wait a minute i thought you were giving the dog vodka for a minute (laughs) yeah i was that's amazing I guess that I guess that'll work. It's your last fucking day it's here. Some kind of monster. <laughs> Only tequila. Just for you listeners, Nico just filled his dog's water dish, but he used a, a glass bottle to do so, and I I thought it was a vodka bottle at first. <laughs> she takes the vodka drink. She takes the vodka drink. <laughs> <laughs> then she takes the nap. That's the important part. <laughs> that'll keep she her from making noise. Out. Yep. <laughs> but she'll get up again. <laughs> Now this has to stay in. <laughs> yeah. So we'll put it in a post, uh, uh, like a post credit. Lefty is happy to see you guys, and he has heard. You know, he's he's somewhat connected. Gotcha. Uh, as a bartender and hearing things, and especially in a rough sort of seedy place like this, but uh, he's happy to see you guys. He heard you've helped out with some things around town, and actually, the first round is on him. And after that, he lets you out. Sweet. It's a just a general good time to you. <laughs> cool. To you. We, we've helped several people around town. We are now eligible to become Thane. <laughs> <laughs> and buy property. <laughs> yes, you can now buy property in Crossland instead of just rent the warehouse. <laughs> At least that's the rumor. Yes. Cool. So, yeah, I'm not looking to do anything really, really extravagant for the evening. Just, uh, just enjoying the company of friends and lots of drinks it's a good time the drink flows and the music plays and it's just a generally loud great time and he offers you again the the room up above the restrooms there it still smells yeah no no i think we're good bro i appreciate it though well eventually things start to wind down and you guys head back to the warehouse or to the witch house the hag house or I think we got... Did we get everything out of I think the, you got everything out of there. Yeah. I don't think we'll go back then. I think we'll just let them have it. Or I will. Cool. You want to take it for, like, one last cruise? I'm going to buy... Um, <laughs> I'm going sure. to buy several fish and hide them under floorboards. Yes! <laughs> yes. Drunk pranks on the hag. Yes. <laughs> There's just manis in all sorts of places. <laughs> Marinate all, all the logs for the firewood yeah. and mayonnaise. <laughs> Glue all the doors shut. <laughs> I'll plug the chimney. <laughs> glue the glue the toilet seat shut. <laughs> <laughs> Plugging the chimney might have been a bit too far. Oh, put the umber, umber Hulk head on the ceiling fan. <laughs> 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 All right, so you go, you know, play lots of petty 
mostly harmless pranks on the hag. One screw out of every door frame, so it just hangs weird and it's hard to open. <laughs> Especially the cabinets. <laughs> it's just just one hinge hanging, holding up each of the cabinet doors when you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bottom one, so it hangs funny. Yeah, yeah, it's even worse. <laughs> Scared to open it. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna fall. <laughs> I gotta think it's haunted. <laughs> Hey. Uh, and then you make your way back to the Remy's bargain. What was it? Remy's Emporium. Discount mm. magic item Discount warehouse. warehouse. And, uh, Emporium. Yeah. And uh, Remy's not there. He's got a, a place, but you guys have a key, so you let yourself yeah. in and yeah. lay out your, your bedrolls and what, hit the sack for the night. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say my uh, yep. fairy godmother prayer and go to bed. You say your fairy godmother prayer and go to bed and Eldrin are our, our, as a you know a sub race of elves or are elves a sub race of Eldrin. I mean Eldrin mm-hmm. are like the ancestors, aren't they? Anyway, they don't sleep typically, but you actually fall asleep hmm. tonight uh, shortly after your your companions do, and then all three of you wake up. And you wake up to the sound of leaves rustling and a chilly breeze blowing across your faces. Do I recognize the environment right away? You open your eyes and you do recognize the environment right away. Uh, It's real foggy, but you recognize this little island as being one that you've talked to your fairy godmother upon before. All right. And do I notice the other two are with me? And you do notice the other two are with you. All right. I'll quickly say, okay, no one make a deal and don't eat any food. Who left the fucking door open? The whole outside's in here. I, I thought it was you, bro. <laughs> I figured well, you got hot and cranked the window. <laughs> what's hot? <laughs> you thought I got hot? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> a silvery, tinkly laugh breaks the silence. And the fog... It's it's real foggy, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Did I say that? Yeah, it's real foggy. Real foggy. It's real foggy. Like, you can only see, like, 10 feet fairly clearly. But it starts to thin a little bit in one direction. It's just a little swirl of wind blows it out of the way. And you see a red and white checked blanket with a basket laid out on the ground there. Uh, uh, somebody order a picnic? <laughs> oh, there's food? Oh, I've changed my mind. This what? is a wonderful place. Rant- I said don't eat the... Rant- oh, my God, God guys. Eating, bro. Trap check. All three of you are looking Trap at check. that. <laughs> and you I'll hear a voice. <laughs> and it seems to move across behind you. But it's when you turn, it's, it's behind you still. So, dear Ren, my dear faithful servant, you've earned a respite. Come rest. Refresh yourselves. You've been busy. My Ren God... Your companions, they're welcome as well. You've all accomplished much. Thank you, fairy godmother. We will sit down. No one touches the damn food. (laughs) You can't talk to me like this. (laughs) I won't have it. You make your way over to the the, the picnic picnic blanket? (laughs) Yep. Sit down. How's it smell? It smells delicious. I'm I'm obviously (laughs) drooling. (laughs) And you all sit down and a woman comes walking out of the fog, just beautiful, slender, tall. Uh, tall but if you were tongue. asked to, asked afterwards to describe her, you wouldn't be able to. So the people of Crossin, she says, as she comes over, you're all sitting on the picnic blanket, yeah? Mm-hmm. She comes over and opens the basket in the middle and pulls out plates and starts putting food on them, like fried chicken and macaroni salad and, you know, really delicious picnic stuff. People of Crossan and the people of Runoff are in your debt. Work with them, she says, and gazes at Ren primarily, but she looks at you two as well. She seems to appreciate the fact that you've both been here with her mm, what her, war, her warlock, I guess. They're not exactly servants, although... Anyway... Work with them. Cultivate the seeds you've planted. Your path is not an easy one, sweet Wren, nor is the charge I place upon you now, but you must keep the schools in check and use your contacts. Build a network and protect warlocks. 
the colleges of magic would see them stamped out and, well, your world is one of my greatest diversions. I can't have that. So I charge you, Red God Truck, with keeping them safe wherever you're able. And she passes out plates to you guys, but do you do you eat it? I think Ren knows not to eat it. I don't know if those two would eat it, or if they would. I don't know if there's a save you want us to make. Like, yeah, is there I, I am very cool? conflicted at this point. I am an old man <laughs> goblin, and you just described a Cracker Barrel spread. I think. <laughs> yeah, would be the best way. Uh, I I think I have to eat it. Uh, it's uh, delicious. Pretty pretty lady. Uh, Ren said we shouldn't eat. But this looks like really delicious. It is. Is, is there something we should know? <laughs> Normally, Ren's advice would be sound, especially with dealing with well, my kind. But today I'm in a good mood. Ren has served me faithfully and well. Oh hell you. yeah, I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> Consider this a reward. That's just the entire time. You all have some, Ren. <laughs> I do like fried chicken, man. <laughs> oh, packed potatoes. I don't believe a word. You, I can't believe you talked about her like that. <laughs> <laughs> Faithful <laughs> service deserves a reward. <laughs> my friend, you've served me faithfully, so my servant, I offer you a boon. I understand there was a stone given to you in Crossing. Ah, uh, yes. The lock stone. Yes, I will augment it for you. Mm. Pass it over here. Here you go. I pass it over. And she takes it, and she doesn't do anything that you can see. But, um, She just holds it for a second and looks at it and hands it back. She says, with this, you may contact any warlock whom you've met, and they will hear you and you then. Sweet. Regardless of distance or location, as long as you both remain on you fray. Oh. Dang. She Elmer. Wise, knowledgeable. To say the least. There's a surprise waiting for you at your home. <laughs> but wait, which home? Well, your home in runoff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, home house. <laughs> you know where we left the boats? <laughs> That's true. I have to move that to my new house. I'm going to put them together into a <laughs> double house. And Pilsner, your gift is here. You will find it when you wake up. Oh, cool. In the meantime, <laughs> uh, enjoy belly. yourselves. Well, thank you, shiny lady. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> the food is great. There's she pulls out a couple of bottles of wine that are just the best oh, yeah. vintage. You Even after we've been partying all night, I'm still <laughs> yeah. You're surprisingly not drunk or hung over here. Great <laughs> or awake, dude. I love this place. <laughs> I just eat as much as I possibly can, and at the end of the meal, I go. Could have been hotter, and I put two coppers down. <laughs> God, <laughs> you can <could laughs> fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I could fix that, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna bitch and I'm gonna under tip, all right? Hey, what are you gonna do? He's a goblin, you know? <laughs> so eventually, as you guys are, you know, hanging out and enjoying the food and drink and whatever, all three of you realize she's, she's no longer there. Hmm, she was, but she's gone. <laughs> That's like hanging out with Dionysus all over again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys have never actually. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. just, just a throwback to the yeah. campaign one. No, I'm just saying that was never Dionysus. Oh, fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another throwback. <laughs> <laughs> Dionysus. Um, eventually, you guys have eaten your fill and drank quite a bit, and you're starting to feel, you know, sleepy, full, that food coma kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Mm, I appreciate it. as you're all... <laughs> starting to drift off as you're starting to drift off all of you catch a voice that same voice says find more Ren find more and keep them safe time will come when more locks are needed and shall hide no more and uh, the next thing you guys know there's there's sunlight coming in the windows of that warehouse is that normal? yeah yeah. okay in, in the morning <laughs> okay. the back side of it actually faced to the east okay, in the morning cool, so cool. shines through those windows but sweet you get up and rub your eyes and there is something on the far wall probably about eight feet tall maybe two feet wide and the top kind of comes to like a rounded point it's a and, rocket ship <laughs> well 
kind of shaped like a rocket ship. It's even got a fin on one side, but it's real flat. <gasps> Bro. I run at it. You run at it, and as you grab it, you realize it's 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 more than it seems. Whoa, dudes. It can actually cast the spell Control Water. Nice. Which is a cantrip, but it can cast it at will to propel it 60 feet. Nice. Per turn. Sweet. Um, That's totally rad, bro. Well, hell yeah. I want to go try this out, guys. Um, do you want to go find a woodworker first? or I don't need one now. Oh, sweet. Um, <clears throat> no, I'll spend the morning uh, after I get some stew in me. Uh, just, just nice polishing it down with the new uh, with the beeswax. <laughs> you guys kept the stew pot, which is yes, it's still full of stew. The yep, stew's still cold now because it's what? not on the fire anymore. Well, it's, oh. you said it didn't have, this, have to have the fire. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's delicious. It's still delicious. It's all you've eaten really for what a couple of weeks now. And I it's wonder just if I not could bathe old. in this, like take a nice little bath, you know. Okay. Not in my stew. <laughs> not in my not in my discount emporium. <laughs> Bathe in the stew. Uh, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was just wondering, guys. Jeez. Don't don't wonder it. I know how we wonder. We wonder and then we do it. <laughs> I could put my balls in there. You wonder inside your head from now on. No, these balls. Then I pull the balls that I play catch with myself out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I press the digitation and pop them away. No. <laughs> no. Stop it. My balls. <laughs> he teleports to go get them. <laughs> he poofed his balls to the other side of the room. <laughs> At least he didn't kick them. <laughs> yeah. I cast Morton Kaiser's foot. <laughs> <laughs> Big beast giant foot. <laughs> <laughs> Big B's ball kicking. <laughs> be a spell. Tasha's hideous nut check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Pilsner grabs his new toy and takes huh. it to the... Heading to the coast, bros! To the edge of town and... Yeah, so you're right in the middle of this enormous swamp, but around Cross and it's pretty clear water with just the occasional, you know, greedy little... Yeah. Yeah, I knew we were somewhere close to the... Uh... Hummock. I think hummock's the word. Find the, the inlet for the uh, where the water is not quite so funky and it's a little more brackish and wavy. Yeah, uh, still not a lot of waves, but you can make. Your I own. can make my own, so not not much of a concern. So yeah, I'm just full sprint, hit the water. No, bro, yeah. You notice actually, uh, it seems to have some sort of enchantment also to keep your footing sure where, while you're on it. Nice. Uh, be pretty hard to even knock you. This is for her. Hell yeah. Start doing tricks and shit. Yeah. You're able to do some pretty sweet, you know, surfing yeah. tricks. I know I'm not going to fall off, and I know the board's going to keep going. Fuck yeah. Yep. I'm going to use control just, water to just put random pop. Turn it on a dime. You can completely <laughs> control a surfboard. So <laughs> Jump up, do an ollie, come back down. <laughs> <laughs> I cast counterspell. <laughs> <laughs> it stops it right in the water. You can't fly, yeah. fly you can counterspell your very god moment, really. <laughs> just He's jealous. Yeah. Just gonna control water to make a five foot cube underneath disappear. So he <laughs> <laughs> freeze a five foot cube. <laughs> <laughs> he just falls in and goes sixty foot. <laughs> a turn into a water wall. <laughs> How sixty feet a turn? How fast is that? It's probably like thirty miles an hour. That's cooking. Yeah, wouldn't feel great. Wouldn't feel great. <laughs> no. All right. I have to rage to avoid damage. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else you want, you guys wanted to do? I'm fucked around on the surfboard. And yeah, no, I'm good. I think these guys are probably... Now I want to go see what's at my house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Plus, we got a birthday party to plan for. Birthday party. Yeah. And you can teleport. Teleport to my uh, house. We're not, I'm not... What? <laughs> yeah. I can't teleport <laughs> that far. Look, Let me I'm try. And I teleport into the water. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> that wasn't far enough. Do it again but at my house. Do it again. In that direction. <laughs> Still a direction of runoff. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, like, threw you first? <laughs> Bam, four more times. <laughs> God. All right. All right, so eventually... <laughs> 
You're going to head back to your house, yeah? Yeah. I'm um, going to get a new batch of uh, glue stewing and fermenting. Yes. And then I will head back. Excellent. Repeat the process. <laughs> yeah, we can uh, set the, uh, the multiple chests up in the, uh, the warehouse. That's true. You can get multiple <laughs> batches going. <laughs> Oh, I'm just taking over the entire warehouse. Nobody will come in because of the smell. Is it like eight gallons a day you can make of a nanny? Yeah. Why? Um, I do use the stone to contact the uh, the homeless warlock dude. What was his name? Flanders. Flanders. And I tell Flanders that we're setting up a soup kitchen at the warehouse for all of his friends. Hell oh, yeah. He's real happy about it. Hello, oh, this is mighty kind of you. Mighty kind. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll let some folks know. Hey, uh, you wouldn't have enough room in there. Some folks could stay maybe on a cold night, would you? It's not my property to make that decision. I'm only leasing a part of it. But, you know, I mean, I, I don't think it would be a problem. We'll ask. Yeah, we could check with Remy. It's, it's wonderful what you've done for us. Yeah, the only thing that we ask in return is maybe you help us build some security around the city. Uh, a bunch of, like, straw men, maybe, that we can do campfires. Each night, it'll keep the town pretty safe. I also need you to bottle that glue. <laughs> it'll keep the town pretty safe. <laughs> <laughs> Just have, like, watchtowers manned with mannequins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been hearing about camps out in the swamp. Just straw mannequins all over them. Oh, yeah, that's us, bro. Uh, it's a protection thing. It huh? makes sense to me. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll spread the word. Oh, great. That's fantastic. You know what's great for making mannequins? Glue. <laughs> oh, glue, yeah. I got a guy. <laughs> You're the guy. I am a guy. <laughs> You're the guy. He's the guy. He's his own guy. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We know where to go if we need some glue. <laughs> it's the guy. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> All right, so then we make it to Elmer's house? Yeah, eventually you make it to Elmer's. Uh, it takes you three days to get back from Crossing. But you get there, and when you walk in, right in the middle of the living room is this, this slender little stand with a little orb on the top of it. it. looks real familiar. Real familiar like the one that was on top of the treehouse. Mm. Oh, my house moves? I'm going to go play with my house orb. Nothing happens. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It stands up. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm tall. <laughs> now we get a second one. How are we ever going to race if we only have one at a time? <laughs> it's also immaculately clean. Is the roof still tarps? No, the roof is thatch. Where do all your tarps go, bro? Tarps are folded up in a corner. It looks like they've had all the, like, the mold and moss scraped off them. I'm so bougie now. <laughs> all the dishes are done and in the cupboards. <laughs> Don't get him go now. <laughs> <laughs> it's got brownies. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I have, to, I have to develop an English accent now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, and just pivot it by, uh, extend your lower lip and your bottom teeth and just talk through your nose. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm. <laughs> right. Ah, the great outdoors. Smell that fresh swamp air. Spring has sprung here in the Gorbian Bogway, and you know what that means. It's Anthronoxus's birthday! Let's check in on the party. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anthronoxus. Happy birthday. There's Anthronoxus now, and who's he talking to? None other than Rengar Truck. Let's see what they have to say. Hey, Anthronoxus, I hope you're enjoying your party. Ah, Ren. Yes, it's uh, 
You know, it's, it's fine. Uh, perhaps you know, with more time to plan next time you could... Uh, no, it, it's fine. Never mind. It's just... I hoped for a magic ring or something, but this is... This is nice. Uh, then... Then... Th- thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Next year's celebration will be so much better. Uh, anyway, I was thinking, of all these people here, uh, are warlocks, like me. And we are being hunted by the other schools. So, while I would never suggest us infringing on your beautiful home, I was wondering if we could use your birthday party celebration as a way for warlocks to kind of maybe get together and check on each other, you know? Show wisdom for one so young. For the birthday of a dragon is a date set eternal. So long as each year each warlock brings me a tribute, you may gather in my swamp. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring you a bunch of presents, of course. And none of the schools would dare encroach uninvited on your territory. They would rightfully fear the great and mighty Anthronoxus. Yes. Should they attempt to attack those who bring me gifts, well, they shall be in for a surprise. Now go, enjoy yourself. This is not the time for such concerns, my friend. You receive this day the hospitality of a dragon, an honor rarely offered to mortals. Okay, thank you, Anthronoxus. I hope you like your gifts. I'm gonna go get some stew now. Oh, I almost forgot. Elmer sent a birthday card. Here you go. I'll leave you to read this. Bye. No, I will not dictate a letter to you for a dragon, especially for its birthday. He's gonna have 5,000 of them. That's the most ridiculous. What are you writing? Stop! like the crowd wants a speech from the birthday boy. Speech. 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 You're all welcome on this day to witness my majesty and the beauty and luxury of my home. It's a swamp. It stinks and there's mosquitoes. My... The... Greatest of my, uh, minions has invited you here to celebrate my existence. So... Celebrate. Be merry. And see that I am well amused. Oh, and who do we have over here? Why, it's Pilsner Altbeer, but you can call him Stout. Who's he chatting with? Why, it's Flanders the Warlock. Let's see what they're talking about. Uh, hey, Flanders. Bro, where's the accordion, bro? We just sang and you didn't play. What the heck, Mo? Oh, I don't really play that thing. It's just for looks. Oh, but it's for Anthronox's birthday, bro. Yeah, I don't know how to play it. I don't think he'd appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I bet he would, bro. (laughs) Uh, hey, um, you, uh, you guys ever think about becoming, like, a little traveling band? Because, uh, I, I got some plans, you know, uh, everybody around here is, like, really cool, but, you know, I gotta hit some sand, some sand and some surf, you know, and, uh, I'm gonna be heading out of town here before too long. Well, matter of fact, seems like a lot of us gonna be doing quite a bit of traveling in the near future. Oh, yeah? Yeah, well, you know, we all got, uh, mm, superiors or mentors gotcha. folks we look up to and they all kind of advised it right right well you know i got this cool new board from uh, my fairy godmother thanks ran props and uh and uh i was i have heard some uh, some of the other turtles talking about uh 
this place farther up the coast where they had some really cool Thundercats and had some good choice waves up there. But then somebody told me about this place called Charbosi. You ever heard of that? Charbosi? Yeah. Yeah, I hear they got boats there. Yeah. Well, There's all the kinds board. of sailing and waves. I mean, that sounds great to me. Sun, surf, and sand, bro. <laughs> Don't forget the wax. Oh, got it. Got it, man. I tell you, those girls are totally golden. <laughs> Grandma Rose hooked me up. <laughs> yeah, those girls, well, golden's one color, but, <laughs> man, I think they're really green. <laughs> really green? <laughs> yeah, it's just a guess I had. Huh. Oh, Wink. <laughs> oh, got you. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Oh, hey, I smell stew. Hold on, I'll I'll catch you after a while. (laughs) Gee, what a fun party. Well, now that it's underway, let's leave them to it and take a look at the nearby village of Runoff where it seems like someone's leaving town. And there's Bayou Bill seeing him off. Who's going, you ask? Why, it's none other than Elmer Fudd. Wait, what? Well, boy, that looks like everything all packed up. Well, I guess this will go by then. Oh, well, you don't stick around, stick around no longer than that glue of yours do, huh? <laughs> I can't keep it on myself. Yeah, that sounds right. I just, uh, I got to take this glue everywhere, man. This is great. I'm going to be rich. We're going to be rich, me and you both, because you're going to sell it in runoff, and I'm going to give you equal partnership, probably. Oh, yeah. Folks in runoff, they already don't pay enough. I can hire folks to go off to crossing. You say you leaving town in order to take it even further. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sell it all over the world. We're going to... We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be an empire. Everybody's gonna know our names, Elmer, and then very little, and on the back by you, Bill. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, so so long as it's on there, I guess it is your glue. Well, I mean, I I, I invented it, so it's only right. Everything everything is branded after its inventor. If you didn't know that. Well, Elmer, it's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We're doing great. We're doing great, both of us. Mostly me, but both of us. So, you have a good one. <laughs> Rip. House just walks away. Yeah, just the footsteps <laughs> as I walk away. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> What a touching goodbye. And as Elmer walks away into the sunset, so does the sunset on season 1.5 of A Fool's Quest. Thank you, dear listeners, for joining us. And remember, be safe. We love you all. And stay foolish. This concludes this episode of A Fool's Quest. Join us next time for a more fun and daring adventure. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to like, subscribe, review, and comment on your favorite platform to listen to A Fool's Quest. That was <laughs> That has to stay in, right? <laughs> that was my best accordion. I just, um, I wish we had the hand gestures to show everyone. <laughs> that was perfect accordion. It hand. was. <laughs> I mean, it painted the scene. <laughs> oh. What? So that that navel is an Audi. It is. It's because it's navel, but navel. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Dang, I wish I wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go on. Go on to the post credits. <laughs> We're going to cut this, right? <laughs> <laughs> nope. But they won't know. <laughs> yeah. Can that be the cover art? <laughs> the cover art for the campaign <laughs> through or two. Just a bowl of navel oranges. With the, with the Audi one on top. <laughs> <Yeah>. Saluting. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs>